Welcome to another episode of My Great Canada. I'm your host, Colin Singer. Today, we have a hot topic on our hands, a significant development in Canadian immigration policy that's making waves across the nation. Immigration Minister Mark Miller has announced a two-year cap on international students in Canada, a move that's poised to reduce the number of study permits by a whopping 35%. It's a bold step aimed at addressing concerns about the impact of record immigration on the country's housing crisis. According to the Globe and Mail newspaper, the cap will result in approximately 364,000 approved study permits, with allocations to each province based on population, ensuring fairness in the distribution. However, this means some provinces, like Ontario, may see a dramatic cut in their international student population, while others may experience an increase. The rationale behind this move becomes clearer when we look at the broader context. A recent CBC News report hinted at the government's consideration of caps on study visas, particularly in provinces facing challenges with housing stock for the increasing number of temporary residents. The anonymous government source leaked that Ontario and Nova Scotia were likely targets for these limits. And now, Minister Miller has officially confirmed the impending caps during the Liberals' cabinet retreat, citing housing as a persistent concern, especially post-COVID, with rising interest rates, supply constraints, and affordability issues. But this decision is just one piece of the puzzle. Under the 2024-2026 Immigration Levels Plan, Canada plans to welcome a staggering 1.485 million immigrants over three years. Senior economists from major Canadian banks, however, argue that the country has poorly managed this influx. Beata Caranci, chief economist at Toronto Dominion Bank, expressed surprise at the mismanagement, considering Canada's privileged position. Stéphane Marion, chief economist at National Bank of Canada, goes further, labeling Canada's immigration policies as a population trap. Over the past eight years, the influx of foreign nationals settling permanently in Canada has reached record levels. What's interesting is the significant demand generated by temporary residents, including foreign workers and international students, whose numbers have skyrocketed compared to permanent residents. Statistics Canada figures reveal a net gain of over 312,000 temporary residents in the third quarter of last year alone, marking a staggering increase compared to 2015. And let's not forget, there are now over a million international students in Canada, contributing to the country's vibrant educational landscape. Now here's the intriguing part. International students in Canada are not just here to study. They can work on campus without a work permit and often off campus gaining valuable work experience. Many go on to apply for permanent residence under immigration programs like the Express Entries Canada Experience Class Program. So, while the cap on international students may raise concerns, it also highlights the delicate balance Canada is striving to achieve between economic growth, housing stability, and managing its diverse and dynamic population. That wraps up this episode of My Great Canada. Thank you for joining us as we explore the dynamic and ever-evolving stories that shape our great nation. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a review, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more insights into the world of Canadian immigration. Remember, this podcast is just a starting point. Check out the full article using the link in our show notes. And if you're serious about making the move, be sure to fill out our free online evaluation form. If you're an employer, the international labor market may be a strategic source to fill your company's hiring challenges. Contact us via the employer form on our website. We also invite you to subscribe to immigration.ca's weekly newsletter, where you will stay informed with the most trusted Canadian immigration news and resources. Stay curious and stay informed. Arrive and thrive in Canada.